Hey, what is up everyone? My name is KB and welcome to Kilobit. Today, I'm going to show you how you can do the live streaming on YouTube. So let's do this without talking too much. So to do the live streaming, we're going to use the OBS Studio. This is free software. As you can see, you can go here. I will put link in the description for the OBS Studio open broadcast software. This is the full name of the OBS Studio. So it is available for Windows, Mac and Linux and uh, the tutorial I'm going to show you all of the settings will work for everyone like Windows, Mac users and Linux. So from here just download the installer, download this and after that you install the OBS Studio, this one just like this. Now it's time to open the OBS Studio. So I'm gonna open and I'm gonna do some settings for you. Once you open the OBS Studio, it will look something like this and you have nothing, your window is blank. And now you can see we have a scene. This is our collection. We can make different scenes for different things, doing different things. So we're gonna go simple and easy, okay? So after that, we have a source settings, okay? there we can add our sources like if we want to capture our desktop you know pc screen and game so we can add those things here in sources so i'm just gonna click here for example uh, i want to capture and live stream my display okay so i'm gonna click on display capture okay as you can see now it's added here okay you can see our display is here same thing for gaming or something like that if you want to capture only games just uh, hit on plus icon and after that you can see game capture you can capture your game and if you want to add your face cam there click on video capture device and after that okay and after that you have to select your integrated webcam or any uh, video device you have plugged in your PC so you can also use your webcam so uh, right now I'm using my webcam to shoot this video you know so I can't use it but I can still add this later uh, it will show up here there are many things you can add like you can also add a music you can also add a video if you don't want to live stream just directly you can also uh, play yourself first and after that you can do the live streaming after that you just select your media source and after that select your video or audio whatever you want to do the live stream and uh, as you can see we have a mixer where it automatically detects the default microphone it will automatically select that and after that we have a desktop audio there is a slider we can raise it like you know make it higher lower volume or higher volume just like this and uh, yeah that's all i do i add the webcam here but right now i'm using the webcam to record this video so i cannot use it you can add the webcam as i said there are many things they are self-explained you can just click on that like game capture device okay and you can uh, see here capture any uh, full screen application it will recognize any full screen application as a game or you can select a specific window to capture the game and capture foreground window with hotkey you can select that option also now i have explained everything to you how to set up this so you just add your sources whatever you want to add webcam game capture or uh, just a desktop or media source anything so you can add it from here scene is your collection no need to worry you can create another scene if you want to for different things you know you can have a different settings different sources in another scene so that is the scene and sources you capture like desktop or media or webcam so that is the sources so now we are done with this this is our setting and after this we have to do some settings that is the little bit hard part but it is not that hard to understand so you just go and hit on settings okay and it will bring the obvious settings journal don't do anything it just uh, no need to mess up with this so leave it as it is if you want to change the language you can change but i'm gonna go with the english and after that stream okay this is the most important part for streaming if you want to do the live streaming okay so for now i'm just gonna leave it as it is we're gonna come back here later because uh, first let's set up our obs do the best setting okay go into the output settings and after that going into the simple just go simple don't go in advanced just go in simple it will work just fine so the first option we have the video bitrate i have selected the 1000 and if you don't know 
what to select here it depends on your internet speed so uh, I'm, I'm gonna try my best to give you an example so I'm gonna test my internet speed first going here and I'm gonna test speed okay I'm gonna go here and search for test speed uh, it is a test speed dot net okay click on that i will also put a link in the description for this website you can go there and test your internet speed uh, it is important to know your upload speed before doing the live streaming you have to set uh, the bitrate right and uh, which works with your internet speed upload speed so we're gonna check our upload speed and after that i'm gonna set my bitrate based on my upload speed that is the thing we have to do if you uh, don't do right settings it, your stream might lag you know it, it will not be smooth so yeah just wait i'm gonna test my internet speed okay it has detected my internet now i'm gonna hit on go button okay and let it connect and it is checking for ping and uh, my download speed it is uh, just counting okay so it's two point uh, about 3 megabyte okay about almost 3 megabyte so it will give me a result so this is our download speed now it's time for upload speed that is the most important part for us okay so my upload speed is going about 2.30 I guess so we have to wait until it finishes it work okay so now we have a 2.27 uh, mbps that means 2000 and 270 2270 so that is our upload speed we can set here 2270 but there is a small problem it is not a regular 2270 sometimes it breaks you know sometimes it is slower sometimes it's higher so we don't have to actually set the same amount of upload speed so i have set 1000 because i have uh, you know cut the upload speed of half okay i want to set half of my upload speed because it's not a regular connection that is recommended settings and uh, if you want to go lower like you have a 5000 upload speed you know uh, 5 megabyte you can go with the 2500 speed just make it half of your upload speed so that's why i have set this 1000 so maybe your connection is 5 megabytes so you're gonna select just half amount of that so your half amount will be uh, like 2500 my half amount will be 1000 only sometime i go only seven here 700 that also works because i have a really slow connection the recommendation is that your upload speed just do the half just select in bitrate your half amount of your upload speed so that is the recommended settings so i'm gonna go with the 1000 maybe it will work or i'm just gonna go with the 700 i'm just selecting my half amount of upload speed so that is the recommended if you do the right setting just like this your stream will just be smooth as hell first check your internet speed as i said here i will put link in the description for the speed net so this is how we set the bitrate so this is really important bitrate is the king if you want to do the live streaming so make sure one more time i'm just gonna repeat it one more time make sure bitrate is half of your upload speed so yeah my half of is 1000 sometime i go 700 only so whatever your internet speed is make it half of your bitrate okay so now after that uh, it will be default encoder select software x264 okay and audio bitrate you can go with the 160 or you can also go 128 you can go with that and just select these settings these settings will be default so just leave it as it is and after that audio leave it as it is whatever audio it is selected and select your microphone default microphone whatever you want to uh, have as a default microphone so you're just gonna select that and after that video now this is my resolution this is also really important okay base canvas resolution this is my resolution of my pc okay this is resolution so output scale means the it is gonna stream on 720p okay this is our setting okay we can uh, make it downscale 
or maybe we can rise the scale so if you have a lower internet connection i suggest you to go with the 720p that is the recommended just like me my uh, internet is not that great so i just go with the 720p if you have a really good internet connection then you can go with the 1080p if you want to okay so i just uh, set my output scale resolution 720p that is my setting and after that downscale filter i just select the uh, this one the third option sharpened scale 32 samples okay you just select that it will make your uh, video a little bit sharper and it will look good just believe me okay and after that fps whatever whatever fps you want to select if you have a slower internet connection just go with the 30 if you want to have a 60 you can go with that but my internet is not that great so i'm gonna go with the 30 so that is my recommendation and after that hotkeys you don't need if you want to start a, and stop the live stream just by pressing one button you can set but i don't do that in advance now in advance this is not that important but uh, general you just select the high or above the normal i'm just gonna select the high so obs will be in higher priority in our pc so and after that we have a renderer and it will automatically select all of the things you don't have to do anything at all here okay don't do anything here just just leave it as it is if you want to do the delay in live streaming uh, obviously live streaming is always delay like maybe five or ten seconds so you don't have to do uh, delay setting here so don't do the delay setting unless you have a really good internet connection okay just uncheck that uh, it, it will be unchecked but don't do the delay settings so yeah now i'm just gonna apply this so we have explained everything that's all you have to do most important part is video bitrate okay that is the most important part if you do this right you're gonna be okay and after that video and output scale resolution you just have to select the 720p or 1080p whatever uh, it, it based it is based on your internet speed if you have a good internet speed uh, just like the uh, 1080p if you want to and uh, if you have a really bad internet connection then you just go with the 720p that will work just fine okay and uh, yeah that's all you have to do in settings now we are in stream okay i'm gonna go in this will be your default setting okay your default setting for streaming so i'm gonna select the as you can see we can select the twitch youtube youtube gaming and there are more like facebook whatever it works with the any live streaming services so i'm doing a tutorial for youtube i can select the youtube and i can select the stream key here okay i can uh, copy and paste my stream key here so uh, what i do is i just go here and go in custom streaming server now i'm gonna go into my live streaming as you can see i am at the live streaming here and it is offline because i haven't streamed at all so you just uh, as you can see we can select the custom thumbnail whatever thumbnail you want to have and after that you can uh, have a, a title for your live stream and after that we have a description they are normal things just like you upload the videos and do settings for the uh, videos so they are just normal thing so most important part inside the live streaming setting in youtube is that encoder setup just go down and you will find this uh, server url copy okay copy this is our url i'm gonna paste it here as you can see this is our url for the youtube or whatever it works with the any uh, live streaming services so i'm just doing for youtube so i have uh, put the url here now i need a stream key so as you can see we have a stream key it's hidden and do not show your stream key to another people anyone can stream on your channel if you show your uh, steam key so make sure that you don't show so i'm just gonna quickly reveal it my key reveal and after that it will show my keys stream keys and I, i'm gonna copy and paste it to obs so quickly let me do it okay i revealed my key i'm gonna go back and paste it here as you can see i can show my key from here so that's how you get the key and url from youtube and uh, after that all you have to do is apply done and i hope you guys already done all of the settings what i did 
and now you are ready to do the live streaming so we can also record with this obs if you want to just to record you can start recording as you can see here we have a option and after that we have a option to start streaming so now we have to do the live streaming just by this so shall we okay let's do this i'm gonna press on live streaming connecting stop streaming we it's live now as you can see here it says stop streaming now we can go and check we can check by ourselves like it is live as you can see we can see by ourselves that it is live and yep i can see myself that i'm live and uh, you can see your live chat here you can see how much of people are watching this so this is my gaming channel i'm just doing a test so test it so yep that's how you do the live streaming and uh, yeah i hope you enjoyed it guys <laughs> yeah uh, i took long time i guess but i need to do this because it's a requested video by by one of my subscriber so you can see it's working and uh, if you have a dual monitor you can put your uh you know youtube live dashboard here and just amazing so that's how you do the live streaming and uh, yeah now to stop the live streaming just stop it just like this and your live stream should start stop here one person is watching <laughs> i'm really sorry i'm just testing this testing this okay so you can see now it goes offline you can go here and check your completed uh, live stream here you can see it will be here so after you're done you can see your live stream video will be uh, uploaded to youtube automatically so that is the thing and uh, yeah that's how you do the live streaming on youtube or any another platform it works with the any platform you just uh, do the right settings and boom 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 everything will be boom 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 you know <laughs> everything will be okay so yeah only thing is you need to mm, keep in mind that you have to set the right bitrate if you select the good amount of bitrate then you are just good to go my recommendation is that uh, select the bitrate half of your upload speed if you have a 10,000 10 megabyte speed just select the 5,000 only if you have a uh, 2,000 uh, speed 2 megabyte only just like me I have only 2 megabyte uh, of speed upload speed not the download speed okay Do download and upload speeds are different so make sure that you select the video bitrate uh, uh, half of your upload speed okay so yeah that's what my recommendation is and i have done a couple of live streaming before and these settings works just fine and yeah that's how you do the live streaming guys and uh, yeah hope you enjoyed it if you did leave a like comment and subscribe and i will put link in the description for the obs studio it is free and it is available for windows mac and linux it works with the uh, any operating system and i will also put link in the description for the speedtest.net you can go there and check your internet speed uh, if you are doing the live streaming just focus on upload speed not the download speed okay so yeah i will see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye bye Shh.